What's up guys, Mikael Bennett here, AKA The Credible, and I want to give you guys a rundown on how you should actually go about repairing your credit because sometimes, you know, there seems to be some confusion and I wanna make sure that I make it very, very clear, okay? So the first step in repairing your credit is actually pulling your credit report. You gotta be able to look, see, identify, and analyze everything that's going on on your credit report. That's number one, pull your credit report. Number two, you have to identify the negative items that you want removed, right? You gotta be able to judge, okay, this account has this much age, this account has late payments that are this old, they need to be removed. Now, late payments, they don't hurt your credit score after two years, that's number one. So, if the account is super old and it has late payments that are you know, four or five years old, that might be an account that you might wanna consider keeping. It's not gonna stop you from getting the things that you want. Only in the recent past two years, the remarks matter the most, okay? Now, once you've identified the negative items that you have, the, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna look at your personal information, right? And you wanna see, are your addresses right? Do you have multiple addresses on there? Do you have multiple variations of your name? Do you have multiple old employers on there? You wanna get your personal information squeaky clean, right? And the fastest way to do that is to actually pick up the phone and call the credit bureaus and let them know, hey, look, this is my, my only address, this is my only employer, this is my only name. Everything else that's being reported is inaccurate and I understand the Fair Credit Reporting Act that everything on my credit report has to be 100% accurate and verifiable. And I'm literally sitting here telling you that it's inaccurate and I'm telling you that that information is wrong and I'm verifying that this information is right. See, where a lot of people go wrong is they just let the bureaus tell them whatever. If you have this issue and you're having a difficult rep, bang on them, hang up and call somebody else, okay? Not call somebody else, but call back and get a different rep. Guys, these are regular people just like you and I. And sometimes if you, you can actually speak to an American-based rep, right? So that you can talk to somebody that can sympathize with you or whatever it may be that you need. Do whatever it takes, okay? So now that you have your personal information fixed, you want to go ahead and freeze the secondary bureaus. Why? Because these are the places that the credit bureaus go to verify these accounts, right? Once you actually do the next step, which is sending in a debt validation letter for them to validate the debt, you want to make it as difficult as possible for them to validate the debt. So if you have a bunch of those old addresses, you're making it easier for the credit bureaus. If you have a bunch of misspelled names or variations of your name, you're making it easier for the credit bureaus. If you haven't gone and freezed your secondary bureaus, you're making it easier for the credit bureaus, right? So you want to make it as difficult as possible for them to verify it. So once you've identified the things that are on your credit report, you adjusted your personal information, and if you have to send in a letter to get the personal information updated, the letter should be something like this. Hey, I recently pulled a copy of my credit report and realized that there was some inaccurate personal information being reported. Now, I understand under the Fair Credit Reporting Act that this information needs to be removed and should not be reporting on my credit report. So I'm asking for you guys to update my personal information and delete everything that I list below that is inaccurate. And then you put in what you want on your credit report. So I want this name, I want this address, I want these employers, this birthday, all of that stuff. Here is what I found that was inaccurately being reported. All of these, all of this information needs to be removed, okay? Now, once you've, you, like I said, once you've identified the negative things, you go ahead, you updated your personal information, you went to CoreLogic, LexisNexis, Innovis, ARS, and you froze your secondary credit reporting accounts, right? So they can't go and verify it. The next step, like I said, is sending in a debt validation letter. So basically, all of the uh, negative accounts that you have, you wanna focus on one bureau at a time. So you wanna look at your report. Okay, this is negative on TransUnion. You need the account number, the date opened, and um, I would say the, the the balance on the account, right? If there's no balance, I will put the uh, the limit on the account. Now, from there, 
you want to go ahead and send in a letter with all of those accounts on it saying that hey I'm not saying that these accounts ain't mine but what I'm saying is I need you to verify it right I need all of the proof that you have that this information is mine including my my original document that I signed with my wet signature nine times out of ten they're not gonna have this but they will play the game with you and try to say that they verified it right they're gonna send you the letters saying oh this account is verified but where is the proof right where's the proof and then that's when you want to go ahead and send in another letter saying hey look I asked y'all to verify this y'all did not verify it correctly at all you did not send in the proof or any of that stuff that you should that I asked for you to send in can you please remove this account because it's inaccurately being reported on my credit report and it's hurting me and once again under the fair credit reporting act I understand that what you guys are doing is totally illegal and I need this situation handled ASAP right now two things maybe they don't reply to you within 30 to 60 days or like I said maybe they don't send in a proper proof and they they just take it forever that's when you want to go ahead and take the information that you've gathered okay the letters that you sent in the responses that you got showing that they did not do a full investigation and give you all of the the proof that you asked for for them to validate the account right so you want to go ahead and send that into the CFPB okay you don't want to go to the CFPB first because now let me say the CFPB first does work but there comes a time where you know it might burn out maybe you've tried to get this one account off three to four times using that method well I'm gonna tell you it's not coming off really like it's not coming off if you are doing the same thing over and over so you want to make sure you help yourself by doing those steps first and then going to the CFPB and then you can you know maybe you can try different methods using the CFPB but the best method is always gonna be with the facts okay with the facts that you tried to go ahead and get this debt validated you went ahead and asked them to verify the accounts and they were not able to successfully do that and you know that the law states under the Fair Credit Reporting Act that this is illegal and if this happens these accounts need to be removed right so you want to go ahead and take all of that evidence that you've gathered over the past few months and go ahead and submit it to the CFPB and that's the proper way of disputing guys right so there's tons of different information there's there's templates there's letters there's videos there's um, literally step-by-step -step videos of me showing you how to use the CFPB but I want you guys to take your own power become skilled at using the CFPB site and become skilled at communicating with the credit bureaus to remove the things off of your credit report don't let anybody tell you that there's one magic pill out there that will erase things from your credit report because that's so far from the truth a lot of times you might have to do things over and over and over and don't get discouraged if you feel like you know you've been trying to get these accounts removed for so long maybe you need to restart the process maybe you need to go back and watch this video from the beginning and make sure you do each step check your personal information get it updated freeze your secondary bureaus send in a debt validation letter you'll be able to find all of those tools all of those resources within this course and within this program so guys once again my name is Mikel Bennett I hope that I'm able to help you get to the next level in your credit journey and I'll see you guys at the top and not from the top